Well guys, it's finally here. I waited for over a year for this thing to come. It's finally arrived. Um, this is by the time I get the Phoenix by Injury Reserve, the Arizona um, kind of like a it's a like hardcore hip hop turn like experimental hip hop glitch kind of group. Formerly a trio, sadly now a duo, but it sounds like this might be their last album though. But it's by far the best thing they did. And um, that's easily one of my favorites of the decade. It did end up being my favorite album of 2021, but I think I prefer LP by JPEG Mafia now. But this is still great, definitely still one of the best of the year. And one of the best of the decade so far, easily. And one of the best experimental hip hop out records I've heard. It has a very, very unique sound and just uh, really, really interesting fusions of glitch. Um, very diverse sound of glitch, um, experimental rock and post-punk. Uh, like, uh, there's some horrorcore, there's some neo-psychedelia, there's some, um, some shoegaze, all different sorts of things in here. Um, and it's really, it's like a very, very abstract and experimental. It's almost like a Bish Bosh by Scott Walker if it was a hip-hop album or something. And this is the, uh, record. It's really cool. It's the Smoke Clear version, which makes sense because it's Smoke Down Clear. Comments on it. My favorite on this is probably By Storm, Knees, Post Postpartum, and then maybe, uh, I also like the song Smoke Down Clear. I think that's one of the more underrated songs off of this. I think that song goes really hard. Um, I also like Superman That and Outside. Those are also really good songs. And I think every song on this is great. It's a pretty cool cover. Um, basically, I think they did a really good um, dedication to Grog's Rest in Peace because uh, I think what they got the idea for it is Grogs was telling them how much he likes the song By the Time I Get the Phoenix by Isaac Hayes, the cover of uh, the Glenn Campbell song. Um, and uh, they just, and he also said something like he wanted their next record to be the most abstract, most experimental, most out there record they ever do, and that's what they got. And uh, yeah, they ended up with a masterpiece in experimental hip hop. It's likely going to be influence many artists to come. This is a great album. So glad I have it. It's pretty limited and uh, thank you guys for watching. Bye.